starting the next recording. So the stream's going really well drop frames wise, which is really good. Less than 0.1% drop frames. Hopefully you can't hear all the clicking clack of my keyboard. I just realize I'm in it pretty hard. It's gonna scale the cliff, but I think there's a anima animoculus right here. So I'll get that instead. Hey cutie, you're going to help me out too? How kind of you. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Good question. Basically, 
things other than that which require brawn or brains. So, what does that leave? I guess I could give this a go. I knew it! There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you... Let's ride this wind current, shall we? It's an Electro Monument. No wonder! Let me try to activate it with a bit of Electro power. Stand back, sweetie. Closer. Blitz. Hit. 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 Hit
it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered. Another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. can be set off between electrocharged opponents. The electrical discharge caused by friction is... Oh, you want to know about this gem? You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. Never seen a vision? Just where exactly are you from? Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you'd more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice. Break it, and we can head home and relax. The thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Dvalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this Storm Terror business. So now you know why Dvalin is only able to channel three of the Four Winds' power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become Storm Terror. But why would one of the Four Winds hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. should hopefully be back to normal. Want to go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another Animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues.
of time to grind to get to more story quest. Let's see what I want to do first, I wonder. the survey in a bit. Not on stream. Uh. Oh yeah, I forgot they have costumes for some characters now. I guess I could go ahead and do this starter wish, one of them. again. Not gonna max out the level just yet because I don't think I can get to the next rank anyway. So let's see. Let's do this in the Avengers Guild first. I guess since it's an emergency. So delicious! Hum, hum, hum. Mm. 
Good Hunter's Fisherman's Toast is the best! This might surprise you, but it's actually a classic Mondstadt recipe that anyone can cook. You can try cooking it yourself if you have the ingredients. Can your cooking skills surpass that of Good Hunter's? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. Don't you let me down! Is the steak. Actually, what, what do I need? Two tomatoes, an onion, and a milk. Okay, let's go get that. Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on her, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it too. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with her. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Basically, the Adventurer's Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. It is, in a way, but it has some practical uses too. It has a record of available commissions and rewards, and it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Add Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss. Take your pick. You'll find no second-rate items at one. What do you want? Oh, yes. These are okay, I guess. Should be able to salvage something from them. If you ever find ore in the future, you can always come and see me. Ideally, when I'm not busy. A blacksmith's work takes focus and concentration. It does not take small talk with customers. When the craft is good, business is good. 
It's all there is to this trade, and anyone who tells you different is trying to con you. Now, if there's nothing else, I'll carry on with my work. He's certainly committed to his work. Paimon will give him that. His temper isn't great, but leave it to him and he'll be able to forge what you need. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Got a little too greedy there.
start with this one. later. Hey, Traveler! I've been looking for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. Oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> So, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Avonius have strict rules! You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what Acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam?! <sighs> what a pain in the butt! Then again, since Amber is the examiner... I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the Knights of Favonius Gliding Manual does not sound like a fun read. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, You have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, what you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Hmm, that's a cool story. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber.
good read-through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Ugh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animal slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh, this is so embarrassing. It's because, maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but... Anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the marked route to the finish. Surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting. Before. Glide through the markers and get to the finish without stopping in the middle. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Seems like you've got the hang of wind gliding now. Let's do the final stage. Easy! You've flown this way before anyway. Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license. Just keep thinking about that license. Ready? Windborne Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. What's going on? Please, show me your gliding license. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him. Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. But that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean. Springvale, there must be some clues about Raptor around here. The sister from the cathedral put some secret animal markings on the artifact he took. Use your elemental sight and keep your eyes peeled for clues. 
Looks like a broken tree branch. Oh, Paimon knows! It's from a frame of a wing glider! Hmm... A strip of cloth with animal markings on it. Looking at the design and the way it's woven, there's a good chance it came from a wing glider. Wow, Outriders have to be textile experts now? It's a harder job than Paimon thought. If this really belongs to Raptor, it How must mean his wing glider was is broken. by Raptor or an animal slime? Animo slimes are airborne creatures. They don't leave marks on the ground unless someone stumped on one to take off. Hmm. How do we know if this was left by raptor or an animal slime? Either way, let's make a mental note of these markings. They're very clear. It appears that the elemental markings point this way. Huh. Well, do you think he ran off ahead? There's only one way to find out. Come on, we should keep following the markings. Ooh, what's that? Looks like something's going on up ahead! It sounds like there's a battle going on. Could that be Raptor? Quick, let's keep going! My, uh, elemental sight doesn't seem to work. My scroll wheel still works though, so I'm not sure what's going on. I'll just have to deal with it for now, I guess. Goodness, the Knights of Favonius have arrived. The hilly trolls won't dare pursue me any longer. What happened? I can't believe it, but the hilly trolls attacked our carts. <sighs> Luckily, I outran them. Hilly trolls? But I thought the Knights of Favonius had cleared out most of the hilly trail camps around these parts. It's a small camp not too far from the village, but the route I take on my delivery runs ensures I steer clear of it. But today, Oh, some crazy fellow suddenly fell out of the sky and landed right in the camp. Hmm, now, who does that remind me of? Oh, it really riled them up. They chased the funny-looking fellow as he fled, which brought them out into the open. I managed to get away, but they smashed my fruit carts to smithereens. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do when the merchant caravan gets here tomorrow. Funny-looking? In what way? Oh, he was holding on to something. Must have been heavy because he couldn't glide in a straight line to save his life. Maybe that's why he fell. Honestly, people like that shouldn't be allowed in the skies. It doesn't take a genius to know you're not supposed to carry heavy objects while gliding. I'm gonna report that idiot and make sure he gets his license revoked. Heavy object? The artifact? This could well be our guy. Tell me, did you see which way he went? Uh, I managed to catch a glimpse as I ran from the hilly churls. I think he went that way. Seems like a strong lead. On with the chase! Oh, and don't worry. As soon as I get back, I'll tell the knights to mop up the rest of the hilly churls as soon as possible. There's no way. Another test subject. Hey! I must You're leave open. no stone unturned.
Keyblade. I got careless. Apart from the hilly trolls, there's a bunch of funny-looking people, too. Judging from the type of wind gliders they've got, I'd say this lot is with Raptor. But if that's the case, what are they hanging around here oh. for? Look where we are. The elemental power on the artifact must have worn off. Raptor must have realized the markings would give away his position and sent his minions to slow us down. That way, when the effect wears off, he can make his escape. He won't get away with this. After him! Okay, I'm going to end this recording, but not the stream again, so be back.